I uh, became a singer when I was about 14, sit at the big drum and do some powwow singing and then start powwowing. Uh, a whole bunch of us, there was like a renaissance. Long, long time ago, it was just the old timers with the braids and the little kids would be at the powwows and everybody else would be over at the big band, you know, with the horns and the, the jazz and the bebop and that's where like my mom and them would be versus my grandmother and them would be over there where the big drum was and the singing. Well, in the early 70s after the Civil Rights Act, uh, say from 76 on, there was this rebirth of tradition that everybody wanted to powwow and we were all identifying ourselves that away, getting in tune with our own Indianness. That in turn led to a crazy lifestyle where I was, every dollar I had, I was putting into gas money to travel to the next dance you start getting excited the night before let's say the see they usually happen on weekends from friday to sunday okay well thursday you're starting to bite at the bit wednesday you've already pulled your outfit out and you've given it the once over make sure everything's fine and dandy kind of like how a rodeo man will check his gear make sure everything's there make sure that all you got to do is throw it on a car and go um my favorite part was actually going to you, you're, you're wondering who's going to be there, what's going to happen when you get... So just getting there was half the fun.